Hey everybody, how are you doing? Lately, I've been really into this phase of just protecting yourself, okay? So, I'm gonna show you this item that I just did a video review for, and like I said, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will show you a lot more vlogs when I go out shooting and different things that I pick up and learn about self-defense. So, you ready? You ready? You ready to see it? You ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, get sexy with it. Not playing. <laughs> My son is not on Facebook, so yeah, I can have a little bit of freedom. But this is a t-shirt holster for women. It is described as a women's concealment scoop neck t-shirt. And inside of it, I have my um, Glock 27, which is a 40 caliber with the extended magazine. And it also, it works for right-handed shooters as well as left-handed shooters, but I am right-handed. So I really like this because there are limited options for women to conceal carry. And I guess you can also open carry if you felt like it, but this is more meant for concealment. I just had that sweater on to show you that you didn't even know I had a weapon on. <laughs> so yes, so I have this here and I absolutely love it. This is a size large and I will put a link for this product in the description box, okay? and. It is really tight, it's snug to my body. Like I said, this is a large. I am tall, I am five foot 10, I weigh 155 pounds. So I have a long torso, but yet I'm very skinny. So this large, yes, it does the job. I was a little scared I wanted to order this in white and black, but I said, let me just order one, just in case it doesn't fit right. I don't have two shirts that I'm not happy with, but this is okay. It's pretty snug and I can jump. It kind of moves, but it's okay. It's still snug to my body to where I don't fear it falling out. And I can also keep it snug to my body. As women, one thing that I absolutely despise is us keeping our guns in our purses. I hate that because your purse can get snatched. You can lay your purse down and somebody goes in your purse, takes takes your firearm or a child gets to it and then you have, you have an incident, okay? So no matter what you do, you can take off your purse, whatever, and your firearm is still with you. If you're using a public bathroom, you put your purse on the hook, which you shouldn't do. You put your purse up there or put your purse on the floor and somebody takes your purse, rest assured that your gun isn't in there, okay? Because that's a whole nother can of worms that you do not want to open. I really like this because you can... Um, let go of the tension strap, seat your hand all the way in there, get your firearm out, and do what you need to do, okay? I really like like that, that, that factor. And the material that this part is made of, I'll step closer, is very durable. And it seats and protects the, the trigger. When it comes to concealed carry, it's not about speed getting it out, because if you were... What'd you say? Um, how do I get one? I'll put the link um, in this video, okay? So just hang on one second, okay? Uh, Ready says, nice, true, I'm 5'4". What size would I need? Well, this is a large, I'm thinking that I can go medium, but I would say it depends on your, up this area. So, like I said, this is a large, and I am a 36 double D, and super skinny. Large works, but it's a tad bit baggy because I usually wear my shirts very tight, tight form fitting. So I would go medium, but for you, I would say maybe a medium to a small depending on your bust size, okay? But I like this shirt because a lot of times when we buy shirts, it's usually a men's box style, but this one here, it fits like a baby doll shirt. And you see? Yes. So I absolutely really like it. Just that with, with the weight, it just draws over a little bit, but it's not like um like a cotton shirt where you like all bagging over here. It's really, really cool. So tell me, what do y'all think? Um, LJ says, right, hit me up and help me. I have a 380. I don't recommend this for a 380. Here, let me show you. So this is my Glock 27. I'm gonna show you it with a 380. All right, so this is my 380. As you see, it's empty. I have no rounds on board. I don't like how my 380 fits fits in here. You said a C cup. Um, I would say order one in a medium, and if that's that doesn't work for you, then go go um small. Okay, but if not, you can always send it back. I don't like how that sits because it's it's so small. It could work. It could work, but I just that, and it also conceals un under your arm perfectly. It's just my preference. It 
just doesn't work for me because it's just entirely too small and I could take it right out yeah um so I wouldn't go below a subcompact this here is my uh, Smith & Wesson 380 as you see no no rounds on board this one fits pr pretty good let me get it in here there we go I'm trying to see above the comments but it's also important too to also practice and get that muscle memory so that you don't have to look to get it out. You know, you can you're actually telling your enemy you're looking for your firearm versus just you know getting it out, going and handling business. Okay. And then also putting it back in without looking, like I said, practice. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. But this is one of my birthday presents. I'm so happy. Cause also up here, I'm either wearing a coat all the time or a jacket. And I can just conceal, go, and my firearm is right there. I did that review a couple of weeks ago on the belly band holster. That one is re really good as well, like I said. There's so many different options to conceal carry, and I will put the link for this product in the description and also put it in the comments a couple of times as well. But you're gonna absolutely love this. So like I said, this, this works well for a subcompact, also a snub nose revolver. Like I said, I really did not approve of it for a 380, but it's on you. Okay. But it's time for us to erase this stigma of being scared of guns and being soft targets. Let's become hard targets and let's become surgical. Let's become proficient with our firearms, okay? I will talk to y'all later. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my videos, and I will see y'all next time.